Peace and love, everyone. Welcome back, family. You know what it is. But for you new subscribers, it's real talk. Hey. All right, of course, with Tim and Phoebe here. Mm -hmm. Hey, it's been a minute. It's been a little minute. Yeah, but it's good to be back. It's good to see you. It's good to be back again with the back at it again. Back All at right, it again. Lilith, <laughs> let's talk that true shit. All right, let's talk. Because here at Real Talk, we have a safe space for the mm -hmm. truth. The truth is, we heard through the grapevine mm -hmm. that <laughs> some of our people are still going for the okie doke with this Africa thing. Well, yeah, let's talk about that first. We so. got to talk about that. Okay. Now, Cause, wait. Cause, well, because the world is going for the okie doke, but let's okay. Let's let's, 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 let's tell zero our, in on the right. African Americans for a minute. Yeah, okay. We're, <laughs> Attention, all, all African Americans. This is information that you must know. All right, y'all. We heard through the grapevine that a lot of our people are still going to Tanzania or Ghana or this place and that place. And now they're being kicked out of those countries. It's no surprise that they're being kicked out of these countries because not only are they foreign to these countries, but they go into these countries thinking that they'll get handouts they, or they don't have to pay to play. They're under the illusion that it will be better for them, that they'll have more opportunity. But that's not necessarily true. You, you, most of us never think about, okay, well, I'm going I'm to go to France because they give a whole lot more but opportunities. And this is where but we're... guess what? France came here thinking that same thing. It was going to be more opportunities. That's Everybody right. Everybody then fell for the okie doke. Mm -hmm. But what I don't understand is why we're leaving our land mm -hmm. to go to another place and we're expecting handouts. you supposed to bring economic value That's to that right. land. And exactly. you trying to suck their <laughs> economic <laughs> value. <laughs> exactly. Take away yourself. their jobs when your empowerment is right here on your land. This is where you make or break it. Yeah. You know, you have more of an opportunity because this is your land than you would over in another land. Remember, you're an immigrant in those other places. A foreigner, you know, a big time. A big time. And what we fail to realize is that we have genealogical proof that we are of this land. Of course and we do. And everybody in the world knows that. Of course. But the reason we're the butt of so many jokes is because we're on our own land and we're looking to another land and we hate our own mm -hmm. land because we're so mistreated and all this other mm -hmm, stuff. Mm -hmm. We're not even trying to fight the power anymore. We no. just run. <laughs> we just run. Uh, we say, Africa, please accept us. And, and Africa says, It's no, not going to happen like that. It doesn't, no, you, you know, are a nigga. That's right. <laughs> we don't like nigga. <laughs> they don't like black, so called. I mean, they don't Americans. like American spirit. We're from another land. Remember, we're from a greater land. Okay, we're gonna okay. get in, we're gonna get into you that. Know, we're I gonna mean, get into that because we are the power. We are the movement for the whole wide world. We're gonna get into that. But okay. We, we we first gotta get our people out of Africa. Okay. First, we gotta get okay. our people. I know. Out. I know. In our videos way back in the past, we were offering them trips to Africa. If they wanted to go to Africa, we'd say we take care of them. But we knew they were gonna find out. That, that was a bunch of bullshit. That those people there have no land. You have no relatives. They don't owe you nothing. That's why we always say here and ask you to join us on our journey of learning how to be more sovereign, being able to navigate, being able through the system, being able to manifest the things that you want. But not only that, That's you got to you got to know yourself in order to do that. Well, see, most of them and know that they're not from Africa. So why would they, they have no, no, no kin, no, no, no cousins. No. See, they think they're the Diasporians. They think they're the Diasporians and they think that they're, they're, they're refugees mm -hmm, mm -hmm. of Africa. Oh yeah, that's because right. Because of religion uh -huh. and that indoctrination and that proclamation and that Pan-Africanism. They think that they suffer from a diaspora. Well, you know what, that's insane in this time of awakening with so much information that's out there, things that are now, been, that were hidden, being revealed, 
It's, there's no re there's no reason for that ignorance except to want to be real because they haven't done any research at all. See, the game has been pulled on everyone. They've got everyone thinking that, not only us. You know, I was going to, I told you earlier, so don't spoil it for okay, people. Okay, I won't spoil it. Okay, but I was talking earlier, family, about how I wanted to make a, a, a quick little PSA for all of my fellow white people. Mm -hmm. And I just wanted to say to you all, you know, the government's calling everybody Caucasian mm -hmm. who is so-called white. And I don't know if you all know, but the Caucasus Mountains are in Africa. That's right. So just like they're calling us black, African-American, white, Caucasian, might as well be white, African-American. See, both, <laughs> both ignorances support each other. Can't that was the plan. That's right. You can't other. have one without having the other. And That's unfortunately, it. you have to step outside of that box just like we do. You have to free your you mind. Didn't, you didn't fail for the okie doke. Mm -hmm. You're not white. You're not a Caucasian. No, no. White is simply and, and, a status of the government. And then y'all kind of know that. You know, put it across. Y'all kind of know you. that. But the message back to us. Yeah, back to us. Okay, let's bring, let's bring it back for a second. Because... <laughs> You know, foreigners already know what time it is. That's why they came to this sure. land, assimilated the white identity, mm -hmm. you know, gave up you all. So you, yada, you, yada, you, yada, your yada. Your forefathers kind of did that uh, for you. Okay. you know. Sure. But sure. we are of this land. Mm -hmm. So we really, we, we ain't going for that African-American narrative. We're not going for that, you know, out of Africa, back to Africa. Nobody came over on the boat. No. And a lot of my people still don't really recognize how and when the slave trade actually happened because it was told in reverse when they came here on the boat it was mm -hmm. from europe it was not from africa no. you cannot sail from africa because of the gyres yeah, and the, the currents, ocean the currents all right you get lost at sea ain't no cruises to africa ain't no cruises to the sweet motherland that y'all run into, Tanzania no. and Ghana. It's not one cruise ship going that way. That's why so many of you all had to get on a plane. Because Cause you didn't come over on a boat. That's right. What happened was they sent you back. When they got here, proclamation of the gospel, fast forward, mm -hmm. they convinced a small amount of indigenous people mm -hmm. to go to Africa parts of Africa to populate Africa. Mm -hmm. That didn't work out the way they wanted it to work out. So what they did was make the indigenous people here believe that they mm -hmm. are of another land mass. Mm -hmm. Stop fighting for the land that you want. Mm -hmm. And they taught our descendants, our children, our children this love. disempowering mm -hmm. slave narrative. Sent them to schools and indoctrinated them into their ideals and views and also reinforced that religious psychosis exactly. that has taken over. And then villainize mm -hmm. or stigmatize the cotton fields mm -hmm. or the corn fields when really we're agricultural masters. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We're supposed to be in the field. We're supposed to be in tune with nature. With nature but know? they stigmatize that with that slave narrative. Of course. I mean, that just empowered you there because if you really understood how great you were, you'd stand up 10 toes down. You wouldn't take a lot of these bullshit narratives because with shit, with that individual identity, mm -hmm. that's the empowerment. Each one of us on the planet have an identity and it's different from the other one. It's mm -hmm. different, just like everything on the planet, every plant life, take animal time. life, take you know, time. it's just, you know, I, I get worked up about I this know, because too. if you, if you know your origin story, mm -hmm. that power, the power is in the mind, mm -hmm. you know, the power is in infecting, infecting this 3D, that's the power. Affecting. Affecting. This you want to infect it? Infect it, <laughs> affect it, I want infect it, period. I feel you, know you. What I'm I saying? feel you. We're, but yeah, you know, I know we, we passed out a lot of plane tickets for our people who wanted to go to Africa. Mm -hmm. Y'all being kicked out now. Hate to say I told you so, but I told you so. And being the butt of the joke 
aren't you tired? A lot of our people were scammed out of their hard earned money. See, we don't of have course. a problem with people traveling the world. No, there's we nothing. Don't have a you problem. need that exposure. You need to see how other people are living. But understand that you become the butt of a joke when you go to a country and think that it's yours. Look, that, that, I mean, that's just a, a triple joke. You can't do that. Baby. Bad enough you're thinking you came from Africa, and then when you got there, they threw you out? What that's kind of because, shit is that? That's because you're not of that land. Of course not. Hate to break it to you, but you're not of that land. And Africans didn't start coming over here until like the 19... 90s to right, keep it right. above, like to when keep, planes to keep were it above, popular, right, who, who, where they had jet airplanes. So you know, that's right. Ain't even no distant cousins over there. Y'all, no. y'all just need to face the facts that you can't run from where you come from. You, hey, I was, you know what? I was thinking that exact thing. You can't run from where you come from, but you can make it better. You can improve on it. You know, you can realize where all your strength and your power comes from. It comes from the land. It comes from your strong oral history. You know, it comes from loving yourself, respecting yourself, respecting other people. Those are the things, you know, and that's what our people have always done. We have been cultivators. You know, no longer are you not only cultivating the land, mm -hmm. but we're not even cultivating our minds. Mm -hmm. We need to get back to being individuals in our mind and get out of this herd mentality. I mm -hmm. think everyone, because that is a part, that is the one world order. Herd can, mentality. Uh, that herd mentality, you know, for of us all to be doing the same thing. That's that's not natural. Or thinking the same way. That's that's not natural. Thinking, that's why it's not why, working. Why is the world thinking in black and white now? Mm. When there's so much color. That's right. There's so much color all around you. Why they got the world thinking in black and white? Why they get, got the world thinking of that, you know, evolutionary theory that all life came out of Africa? Why do you think that is? That's to take you away from your origin story. Mm -hmm. That mm -hmm. empowers you. Your origin story empowers you. You were never a victim of diaspora. The only thing you did on Turtle Island, on this land, was migrated from place to place. And that's what you're supposed to do. That's what our peoples always did. That's how we showed each other love. That's how we grew. That's how we had powerful families and families and tribes. Traded with each other. Traded with each other. Married each other. Remember, we were doing better when we were assuming responsibility for ourselves. Mm -hmm. Now, they duped everyone. Mm -hmm. They duped, you know, they th have Europeans thinking they're white. They've even got Europeans coming on assuming that white status, following up on those same old prejudices, those same things that keep us all divided. You know, we're and all... And then they have Europeans who have the same complexion as you. Oh, please, Assuming yes. those same bigotries and, you know, owning the small businesses in your neighborhoods and things like that. Not only that, you're in the media, you know, playing parts that you should be playing. You know, look how many times you've seen a European playing us. Or an African. Wow. Well, and we always playing pretend Africans. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, that mm -hmm. back to America shit should have ended back then. Exactly. Because those were all pretend Africans. So I need to say to my people, stop pretending to be African. Stop pretending. They done kicked you out. Just stop pretending. And they'll continue to kick you out. It's only going to get worse. It's not going to get any better. There will never be a kumbaya because you're invading someone else's land, taking not only their resources, but you're also taking their jobs. They don't want you over there. See, the thing They've got is, their own problems. They don't need you to. The Nietzsche not, goes over there, and they don't even get a job. That's, <laughs> that's right. See, so you... They don't get a job. They don't even get a job. They make it impossible no, for you to it, exist there. You go there. up there and you think the shit's going to be free. They ain't looking for no job. What job? That's right. What jobs are there? You going to build a road? <laughs> what you going to do? I mean, uh -huh. you're keeping it real, right? Yeah, they're keeping it real. What you going to do? I'm keeping it real with what you. What you going to do? 
What you gonna do? You need, you need to get a taste of reality, you know, and, and, and be thankful and grateful for what we do have. You want some water? Yeah, I'll take a little water, sure. We need to be, all of us need to be more grateful, right. more thankful. Think about something right now, family, that you could be thankful and grateful for. Be grateful that you own your own land. And you weren't, uh, what they called it? Uh, it's not exiled. <laughs> but you know, when you cast out of the land, expatriated. Yeah, expatriated. That's right. No, don't this, is, don't, don't, this don't, is your don't land. Don't be expatriated. <laughs> <laughs> from your mind. Really? From your soul. From your true lineage. From your true bloodline. You know, because that's the purpose. You know, we each have to be more sovereign in mind. That's right. You know, stop following the herd. Stop believing all these lies. Because the proof is right here in front of you. You just have to look. You don't need a DNA test because it doesn't work anyway. You need a genealogical test. You, you need an oral history test. You need to talk to your people. You need to do some real research on them. census records. Those census records never said African. No. For a reason. The census records said white for a reason. Because they wanted to enslave the Europeans coming over here. Remember, they a lot of them were slaves both, anyway. They wanted to take both identities mm -hmm. away. Mm -hmm. You can't have one without the other. Just look at the records. The proof is right in front of you. Mm -hmm. Just do some research. But you got to ask the right questions. The quality Always. of your life is based off the quality of your questions. Mm -hmm. You got to ask the right questions. Mm -hmm. You got to watch the right channels and that you, are telling the and truth. You can't be right. You can't be in fear. Fear is false evidence that appears real. If you're scared, go to church. Ah. If you're scared, go to church. Go to church with the rest of the Nijis who've been forgotten who they are and they want to put the power in somebody else's hands and they can't, <laughs> you know, if you're scared. They, can, they can't handle the power. Go to no, church. no. This ain't for the faint of heart. No, this is for the real. This is for the truth. This is for a better life. You know, that's what this is all about. All you right. Know? We'll keep it short and sweet. Remember what we said and pass the message on. It's time to stop going for the okie doke. Everyone, everyone, doesn't matter who you are, stop going for the okie doke. There's a better way to lead your life. Just step into your power. Step into your purpose. Step into your essence. That's right. Step into you being you. Stop taking selfies of somebody else's face. Stop being a deep fake. <laughs> <laughs> we love you, and we'll see you soon. Peace and love. Peace and love.